And we are here with Evan from Sega showing off Team Sonic Racing. Great to be here. So much, you know, thank you so much for uh, inviting us out here to show yeah. our uh, great game that's yeah. uh, coming out this winter. Once again, you've made a, uh, a brand new game where the, the world's fastest hedgehog is driving a car. You know, you have to, uh, you know, give the other racers, uh, you know, uh, give yeah. him a disadvantage. <laughs> I mean, the, the world's fastest hedgehog can't, you know, if he wasn't in yeah, a car, yeah. it would be fair. It's just not fair. So this is uh, this is a key word. A lot of people, you know, there have been, there've been Sonic racing games before, but team is the operative word here. This is, uh, this is a cooperative racing game. How does that, that work? That's correct. You know, we've kind of uh, seen the landscape of, of multiplayer and just online uh, gaming across the board. And know that, you know, kind of teamwork was, was a big, you know, uh, element that, that gamers were enjoying, whether playing with their friends or, or colleagues or anything like that. So we really wanted to uh, create a, a racer that really utilized those kind of team-based mechanics um, so that you're, you know, racing as a team and winning as a team. And so you've got, uh, we're looking at some, some live gameplay right here. And this... Do the different teams have like different colored slipstreams? Is that sort of how it so, works? So the, the slipstream that you're seeing is, is the one that uh, Sonic the Hedgehog is leaving behind for, for his team of uh, Knuckles and Tails. Um, they're able to utilize that to, to get a little speed boost throughout the race, as well as Sonic's able to utilize it to get a, get a boost himself. Awesome. And of course, uh, you know, as you'd expect with any uh, cartoony racer, there's plenty of items all over the map. Uh, <laughs> what kind of interesting stuff are you doing with those in this? Yeah, so in the game, there's, you know, a, a number of wisps that are available through the uh, power-up that, that just got picked up. Um, you know, whether it's an offensive or a defensive uh, kind of mechanic to uh, help you, you know, succeed in the race. Um, in addition, you know, as playing off the kind of team-based mechanic, you're able to offer, you know, items up to your team or, or you know, get, accept them from your team, um, which not only helps you fill your uh, team ultimate, but also can give you a much-needed item in your time of need. Awesome. Now, uh, obviously, uh, yeah, this is this is very well suited for, for online team play. Uh, can you speak a little bit about the sort of different varieties of multiplayer? Sure. So not only are you able to play, uh, you know, local land-based uh, multiplayer with up to, uh, you know, yourself and three of your friends, so four-player co-op, um, you're also able to play uh, online with uh, up to 12 other players. Cool. And it's uh, is, it, is it possible to, I, I realize this is kind of like you, you prepared this Wonderful amount of cool new features. Is it possible to just play it as a as a conventional racing game where everyone's for themselves? Um, so right now, you know, the the game is really focused on the the team based mechanic. There there is a single player kind of story and adventure mode that, that you're able to participate as well as kind of you do your typical time trials and stuff like that, um, where you are playing by yourself with uh, two you know AI teammates. Uh, in an example here with a uh, you know Team Sonic, you'd have your uh, teammate you know Knuckles and and Tails you know helping you throughout the race. Okay. Now, obviously, the, the Sonic the Sonic fan base is, is hardcore to say the least. Uh, can you give us some insight to what the uh, what the story is like? The the story for your TSR? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's just kind of you know a friendly you know kind of overview and, and deep dive into you know all, all these characters kind of getting together and and you know racing and, and having a good time. Okay. Now the uh, the last uh, Sonic racing game was uh, Sonic and All Stars uh, Racing Transformed, uh, which had uh, obviously a lot of different vehicles would transform. Uh, these are these are just this is just cars, right? Or yep. Ground vehicles. Um, so you know, for for the you know Team Sonic Racing, we we once again you know worked we're working with uh, Sumo, who you know is coveted and and, and award winning you know uh, publisher or developer in the, the space. So we've tapped them again to uh, really build off this. Um, you know, we, we we had done the kind of uh, transformation mechanic and, and stuff like that, whether, you know, changing your, your vehicle and stuff like that on the fly. And really for uh, Team Sonic Racing, we wanted to really dive into the uh, multiplayer elements and, and you know, team-based team mechanics um, as we, you know, just saw right there. Cool. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about how the, the sort of the scoring works. Obviously, it's, it's, uh, it's not every man for himself. Um, so, you know, as I mentioned, you know, you're, you're kind of, you know, uh, ranked by based on your team and everything like that. So it really kind of um, is pushing, you know, that, that kind of, you know, work together, you know, win together um, kind of mechanic. Um, as, as you saw, you know, um, Sonic came in first, giving the most points to their overall team uh, with, you know, Knuckles and Tails coming in behind. But, you know, their overall score kind of led them into uh, to first place. Um, so really, you're, you're, you're really wanting to uh, work together with your team, you know, offering items. If you're in first place, you know, Maybe your your partner who's in third, fourth, or eighth place needs uh, needs a couple extra items and stuff like that to really shift the advantage in their favor, um, as well as utilizing the the team based boost and stuff like that. So they are able to all kind of use the the boost and and you know at an optimal time for for maybe you know all three players. 
Okay, now let's say you're playing online and you don't have three best friends who are the best at racing games. Uh, what kind of matchmaking is in place to make sure you don't get stuck with a bunch of slow pokes? You know, uh, the, the the game really rewards you know teamwork and stuff like that. So so even if you are you know um, paired with a you know non kart pro, you know you're, you're still able to to really help them out and stuff like that. Whether it's it's offering items, providing them with slipstreams, you know uh, driving past them to give them a little boost or knocking out the competition to kind of pave the road for them to uh, to cross the finish line and, and work together as a team. Now this is uh, this is coming to Nintendo Switch, correct? That's correct. It's going to be across all, all the you know major platforms. It's going to be on PS4, Nintendo Switch, um, Xbox, as well as uh, on Steam. And will there be uh, will there be four player local split screen on the Switch in portable mode? You will all confirm that at a later date. But uh, you know at, at this time you know you, you will be able to do a uh, four player split screen. Okay, that sounds that sounds awesome. Uh, a lot of people are uh, very curious to know when you know a new game comes out. Will it be? Will it get the extra bells and whistles when running on a uh, PS4 Pro or Xbox One X? Um, so right now, you know, we're we're working on the build and, and finalizing everything to to optimize it across all the the consoles. Whether it's you know you're playing on a Nintendo Switch or you're playing it on a you know high end gaming PC, you know, for for a Steam. Okay. Uh, now uh, I, I've got to ask. Uh, I was a big fan, obviously. You know, it, apples and oranges here, but uh, <laughs> Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, I loved how it pulled in characters from across all different Sega franchises. Uh, this is strictly just Sonic characters, That's right? correct. Uh, for, for Team Sonic Racing, it, it's strictly based on, uh, you know, there's going to be 15 playable characters from the uh, Sonic universe. Is there any chance we're going to see maybe, you know, costumes from other, other Sega properties? Or, or You know, you'll, you'll just have to, have to wait and see as, as we, you know, uh, gear up towards launch. Oh, man, that just that sounds like a, a <laughs> something I really, I really would like. Uh, now you've got uh, you've got different sort of uh, obviously environmental things going on here. There's, there's mud puddles and things like that. Could you speak a little bit about uh, sort of how the environment affects the the race? Sure. Um, so you know, uh, playing off the environment and stuff like that. There's uh, actually three kind of uh, car types or, or classes um, in TSR. You're going to have a speed-based character. That's that's your Sonic. You're going to have a technique-based character that as you see on the screen right now with tails. And then you have power-based characters like Knuckles and uh, Omega. So, uh, you know, the obstacles like the grass and stuff like that, a technique character is able to actually go across them um, for a limited time without being hindered in their speed. You know, um, someone like Sonic is actually going to have the highest top speed in the game, but, you know, would be slowed down by grass or other obstacles. And then your power-based characters are going to have, you know, access to a couple, you know, extra wisps, um, as well as they're able to drive through some obstacles without really, you know, being hindered. Nice. I mean, yeah, it's 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 Sumo Digital doing it. They have a <laughs> they have a background. They have a, a literally very good track record. Yeah. No. I mean, they have a phenomenal track record, and, and we're so you know kind of grateful and happy to be working with them again. Now, as for the uh, as for the whole roster, have we have we seen all the characters that are going to be put in the game yet? Or? So right now, you know, we we we've revealed six of the characters. We've revealed Team Dark, which is you know Santa or er, Shadow, uh, Rouge the Bat, as well as Omega, and then you have uh, Team Sonic right here, which is you know Sonic Tails and Knuckles. How's the uh, how's the how's the reception been for this so far? You know the the reception has been you know kind of overwhelmingly positive. You know we we you know put out our E3 trailer yesterday. Um, we were pleased to announce that Crush 40, um, which is a, a longtime fan favorite, will be returning um, and providing some of the the mu music for the game. And you know I think that that went over really really well with our fans. It's awesome to hear it. And do you, do you guys have a release date for this quite yet? The the game's gonna be coming out this winter. This winter, no, no specific date. No, no specific date at this time. You know, stay tuned to, to our Sonic channels. I'm sure uh, you know the the Hedgehog Aaron Weber uh, will be you know revealing stuff in uh, due time on on Twitter or other social accounts. Cool. And uh, is Dr. Robotnik gonna be in there somewhere? Is I mean, you'll just kind of kind of have to wait and see if he's uh, he's coming in to, to hand her Sonic or not. He's, he shows up. He has a tendency to do that. He uh, does. Is, is there anything else you want to add on real quick? You know, not only do we have a TSR coming out, you know, this year, but we also have a Sonic Mania Plus, which will be uh, coming out on July 17th. Um, so we're really excited that where you're, you know, for the first time in, in years, you'll be able to play as uh, Mighty and Ray are, are making their uh, their debut back with uh, Sonic Mania Plus. Cool. And I think we've got. Uh we got the character select screen up here somewhere. I was hoping we could take a look at some of these some of these models real quick. No problem. Sorry, we've got a we've got a load screen here. <laughs> uh, who's your who's your personal favorite to play as? I mean, I'm personally uh, Shadow is is currently my my favorite character. Uh, really like the the maximum top speed that the speed classes offer. Um, though you know, I'd say uh, Tails probably comes in as a close second after you know playing you know older Sonic games my my whole life have have always been kind of a, a big Tails fan. 
Is there is there a strict style guide for the the, the vehicles they're in? Is there like because they've made you know Sonic has his sort of his trademark car, but you know uh, we team so you know so uh, team Sonic you know with uh, Zoopson and and you know the the guys uh, behind that uh, contribute you know with with everything from you know every pixel and everything like that for for the character development, their car development, everything like that. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, recent Sonic games have added character customization, creating uh, their own characters. Is, is that something that we'd ever possibly see in, in Team Sonic Racing? Yeah, so in TSR, there, there will be a number of customization elements, so players will be able to, uh, you know, lock, unlock various, uh, you know, upgrades and stuff like that to, to really kind of min-max their car to, to their desire. If they want a little more handling or if they want a little more top speed, um, they'll be able to do that uh, throughout the game. And can that be, that can be done through single player and, and multiplayer? Yep. Awesome. Cool. Well, Team Sonic Racing is is looking fabulous. It is. You got to go fast. It's it's Sonic in a car. It is slowing Sonic. himself down, so it's fair for everybody else. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for coming by. We have uh, tons more coverage from E3 coming up very shortly, so don't go anywhere. Thank you so much.